when it comes to inequalities, it's very important we know what they look like and how to represent them on a number line. Usually, when you have inequality signs, you could have something like this, which is like your right arm, elbow being bent. This means greater than, this is greater than, and you could also have your left arm when you bend it, when you bend your left arm, the shape of the elbow is this way, and this is less than. Now, to represent numbers, or rather inequalities on a number line, we've got to know how this works. When you want to represent something like x less than 3 on a number line, you will draw the number line, and let's assume they start from here. We could put a zero there, a one there, a two there, a three there, a four there if we like. We do not really need this bit here, but I'll put it there for you. And we also have this one here. Now, any number less than three has to go that way, facing that left direction. So we're going to draw an empty circle and put our arrows all the way down. And this is x less than three. Now, it is an empty circle because it's less than. But we have another inequality that we call less than or equal to. Now with the less than or equal to inequality sign, less than or equal to. With this sort of inequality sign, if I was to represent something like x less than or equal to 3, I'm going to draw my number line and maybe put a 4 there, a 3 there, a 2, um, a 1, and a 0. We could stop there if we want to. Now, my less than has to go all the way down there because it's going towards that direction. But because of the bar underneath here, which says less than or equal to, I've got to shade the inside of my circle. This is an empty circle because it does not have a bar. This is a field circle because it's got a bar there. If we were to have something like greater than, that's my right arm elbow being bent, or equal to, so this is greater than, greater than, or equal to. So this is what we call the sign here. Greater than or equal to. So say I have something like x is greater than or equal to 5. I'm going to draw my number line and I can put my 5 there. I can put my 4 there. 6. 7, 8, and maybe my 9 there. Now, because it's going that way, the elbow, the right elbow, is facing that way. I'm going to put my circle on 5, I'm going to go all the way down, but I've got to shape the inside of my circle because it's got this bar here, which is all equal to. So we've got to be very, very careful when we are representing inequalities on a number line. We've got to check if it's got to have a shaded circle or if it's going to have an empty circle.
we will do one more example with just the greater than sign. Hopefully, we'll be able to understand more. So if I have something like x greater than 5, we're going to have a number line. I could put my 5 there. I could put my 4 there. And I could put my 6 and 7 and 8. I could stop at 8. Now, if I put my circle there and I go all the way down to that direction, this is what x greater than 5 is. So this is x greater than 5 with an empty circle, and this is x greater than or equal to 5.